I'm finally letting go of the secret, y'all. Here's my candied yam recipe that everybody has loved for years. Here it goes. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Michelle's Southern Home Cooking. Uh, I'm Michelle, and I'm in the middle of making a country boiled dinner, which consists of ham, string beans, uh, and potatoes, and dumplings that are cooked in, all in one pot at separate times though <laughs> and then to go with it i've got some stewed squash and onions and i'm making some candied yams so now we're going to go over the candied yam part um i have baked sweet potatoes in the oven uh, i just baked them at 400 and uh they have cooled and if you'll notice they will draw up and the skin will uh be loose and all those sugars and all that wonderful sweet potato goodness goes back into the actual sweet potato itself and they're much sweeter that way um i never buy canned um never never buy canned sweet potatoes ever um they're just not good you can bake these at night when you're sitting there watching tv they just need to be in there an hour and you cut the oven off and you leave them in there until the next morning when you need to use them um, if you're going to use them the same day, make sure you let them cool in the oven. Turn it off at least for two hours before you start to peel them, okay? So do this ahead of time. This is something you can do early in the morning if you're making things. After you get them out of the oven, you just take the ends and cut them off. And then I run the knife. It's just a little old paring knife that's sharp. And then at that point, I just... Peel it out, peel it right out of the skin, trying to preserve as much of the sweet potato as I can. Now, there's gonna be some darker spots where they baked and that's fine. If they're too dark, just cut them out. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just where it caramelized and the sugar got really sweet. And most of the time it's where it sat on the aluminum foil. So there we go. I have the sweet potato all um, peeled and I'm going to slice that on the diagonal and slice it in half. So there's two candy yam servings. And what I'm putting it in is a sprayed aluminum foil pan. I sprayed it with a nonstick cooking spray. And we're just going to put those up there. And I'm just going to continue to do that until I peeled them all. Okay, welcome back. I have all of the yams or sweet potatoes actually um, cut up and in a pan and i fold in the edges of this one because i'm going to bake these in my little toaster oven which is a convection oven as well and um it'll fit in there that way i like these foldable moldable aluminum pans but um we're gonna make the syrup that's going to go over these now um i've taken one stick of butter which is a quarter of a pound um and melted it on low heat add a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup regular sugar all right i've got this water to thin it out if we need to um that's just kind of you know what goes on but the other ingredient that is the secret is a half a cup of pancake syrup all right now so that is good for that and we're just going to incorporate it and we'll heat it all up until it all gets melted I turned up the heat a little bit to just north of medium. Not medium high, but a little higher than medium. Level six on mine. So, it's not quite boiling yet, but it is getting melted. But we want to cook it until it boils, and then we're going to cut it off. Okay, guys, here's the secret of why my things turn out so good. And people say, oh, it tastes a little different. I'm going to come clean. I use King Arthur flour Vietnamese cinnamon. I order it from Amazon, but you can order it from them too. But um, it goes a long way and it's a lot of it, okay? Um, so in this little ramekin here, I've got two teaspoons of cinnamon and I use a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. It's just the right blend and it goes so well with so much. I use it in cookies and everything. Um, and I use it in my apple pie instead. Now, this is ground allspice. It is very strong. I don't use very much at all. So I just, whoa, just a dash, really. And then these are ground cloves. And I use just a little bit of that as well. Not enough to throw a stick at, really. 
Um, so I just use a little whisk to whisk it all, and I'm going to sprinkle it. Uh, pin take a pinch full and sprinkle it on the yams before I pour the syrup on them. Okay. And that if you don't like this, you don't have to do it. I've got one lady that I know is allergic to cinnamon. Bless her heart. And um, and so I made her some sweet potato or candied yam biscuits one time with my leftover mashed up candied yams. And that did not work out so well. She couldn't eat them, but her family sure enjoyed them. So now we're coming back over here. And this has almost bubble, bubbled up. It's done a little slow boil. It's not quite there yet. So we're going to come back when it's boiling. Okay. So here we are back and it is boiling and I'm gonna show you something, another little secret of mine. I don't add the marshmallows on top. I just put a handful in here to give that little flavor. And that's just probably about a half a cup of mini marshmallows. And you're gonna turn it off, off the heat and you're just gonna let those marshmallows melt. And it's okay to go ahead and pour them while it's hot on top of the candy yams, okay? Or the, or the sweet potatoes that are going to magically turn into candy yams. Okay, and that's all good. And so what we're gonna do now is put them in the oven for about 20 minutes on 350. I've just taken the candy yams out after, after being in the oven 20 minutes on 350. And I'm going to turn everything over. But um, after you get them all turned over, like that, you want to take a little bit of that cinnamon mixture that we had left over. So we just lightly dust with a little bit to put a little bit on there. Gosh, I wish you could smell this. Oh my gosh, it smells like Christmas or Thanksgiving. All right, back into the oven for... 15 more minutes. Looky, looky here. After turning them and cooking them again, taking them out, I just put some foil over them and left them warm in the oven. They can stay like that as long as you need to. This is one you can bake a few hours ahead without a problem. Candied yams. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I hope you truly will enjoy these very special candied yams. Very rare do I ever share this recipe, and I've just shared it with you. Mmm, -mm. makes you have a fit, girl. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs>